It's great to be here, and I'm excited. And today, I want to respond that we are standing by the children. And I want to encourage as many of you as possible after you hear this story to be determined and to take a step to stand by the children of South LA because the situation is serious. This is the landscape when you look at the dropout rate in the state of California. 18% of students generally around the state drop out. Out of that, 30% are African Americans and 22% are Latinos. Now, these figures are much higher when you come to South LA. Now, there's a very important thing that I need to talk about, but before I do that, let me say this. Whenever I, I engage in a one-on-one -on -one conversation with people, they will always say, oh, you have such a nice accent, where are you from? So in case you are wondering, let me answer that. I grew up in Ghana. Came to this country about 20 years ago. I haven't lost my accent because my grandma made me make a pledge to her before I left Ghana that she wants me to come back sounding the same. <laughs> so even though she has passed on in order to fulfill that promise to her, I've maintained my accent. It takes you about two minutes and you get what I say. Uh, my students have put up with me for many years, so don't worry, I'll be fine. <laughs> and, and you're going to hear what I say. Now, in many education systems around the world, your high school diploma is your ticket to college. Same is true in many, many countries. Japan, Ghana, in England, many other countries. But I was surprised when I came to the greatest nation on earth and realize that high school is not a ticket to a top university. That many children, even those who don't drop out and make it through our high school system, don't have a shot at the best universities in this nation. Now, if you're a high school student in California, you don't have a shot if you happen to grow up in certain parts of town, at meeting the admission requirements to a UC or a CSU. Because in this state, only 29% of our high school students graduate completing the A through J requirements. The A through J requirements are the minimum requirements that you have to meet in order for you to qualify to apply to a UC or a CSU system. 29%. Among males is 24, female 33. Among blacks in California is 19% who graduate having met the minimum entrance requirement to the UC and CSUs. The situation is even more challenging for young black men, 14%. Latinos 19 and male 15, female 24. So what happens to the ones who even happen to graduate? There was an LA Times article a few days back that said the dropout rate is costing, the, in the community colleges, it's costing the state billions of dollars. Now it may appear as if it's the community colleges who are costing the state that amount of money, but actually it's our K through 12 system. Because the students who are graduating from the high schools don't have the skill set to do college work. And they go and they drop out. Now we talk about high expectations and it has become a cliche. And I wonder why we are not changing high expectations to higher requirements. Why is it that high school students are not graduating, completing the minimum entrance requirement to their uses and CSUs? To me, it's a tragedy. And as a result, we were willing to do something different. New designs came into being with a sole purpose that it's no longer going to be a cliche. It's not about high expectations. It's going to be higher requirements. And when I submitted my charter petition to LAUSD, we made it very clear that we were going to hold ourselves accountable. And therefore, no student will graduate from our school without meeting the UC A through G entrance requirement. And we've done that. 
The last three years, every student who has held our diploma held it because they've met the UC A through G requirements. What that means is this. And actually, they've just not met it, but they've exceeded it. Because in science, UC requires three years of lab science, which is biochemistry. If you do astronomy, it's not a lab science. It doesn't count. But our students not only had to do bio and chem, but they had to do fixes, and we also had to do entrance uh, college ent entry level engineering class, which is also considered science. So our students graduated with four years of science. And on top of that, in math, and, and that is as a math teacher, I taught math for um, 10 years, five uh, math and tech for 10 years in LAUSD. And what I realized was this, and that is also something that came to me because I happened to be somewhere who didn't grow up here. In Ghana, what I knew was that if I wanted to go to college and study English language arts, and I want to go to the best universities uh, around, they will not look at have you completed algebra two or pre calculus You know, they will cut me a slide because after I want to major in English. But in this country, if I want to go to MIT, if I want to go to Stanford, if I want to go to UC Berkeley and pursue a degree in English language arts, I will not be exempted from meeting the math requirements that will take me there. And math has become a gatekeeper. And most of our inner city kids run away from math because the high school graduation requirement for um, math, algebra one and any other math class. And if you are lucky, you do algebra one and geometry. You do algebra one and geometry, you need not apply to a CSU, you need not apply to uh, a UC school. And if you go to community college, you may not even be able to start to take the college level math classes. And this is what we have changed. And how did we change that? To graduate from our school, you need to complete pre calculus Is it easy? No. We have an extended school day. We open our doors at 6.30. We close at 6.30 p.m. It's challenging, but it's been done. 38 our students who graduated from us last year all met UC A through G requirement. 36 out of them went on to four-year universities. The two who went to community college went because that was a choice for them. It's not because they didn't have a choice. But it's a lot of work. We have board members who are committed to this, and I have a board member who is from this uh, city, Mr. Seldon Saslansky, Marla's husband, <laughs> who has put in a lot of time and effort. So the new design story is saying that it's possible, it can be done, inner city case can excel, but you need to work at it. You need to transform higher expectations into higher requirements, and a kid will have a reason to be in school because a high school diploma will mean something to them. I want all of you to stand by the children of South LA. Thank you.